call the yellow one? I'm gonna call the black one. What's up, y'all? Cody Miller here, multi-time national champion and Can-Am UTV pilot. Yeah, Hunter Miller, uh, longtime factory Can-Am driver. Definitely the older, better-looking Miller brother. <laughs> uh, the X3 has been regarded as the top performing side-by-side -side in the industry for a long time. Uh, no matter what terrain we take our X3s on, we're always, we're always looking for more. More suspension, more horsepower, just more of everything. So we've been pushing this X3 platform for many years now, and every year we just, we raise the bar and we raise the bar. We need to just take that next step to get further out ahead of the competition. Introducing the all new, totally badass Can-Am Maverick R. This machine is the ultimate combination of performance and durability. Basically, Can-Am has completely, from the ground up, revolutionized the game with this. This machine can be pushed to the limits at all times without worries of failure. The only thing that stops this machine is the driver themselves. So while we have a completely new platform, it still has that Can-Am DNA with these sweeping body lines that run all the way from the front to the back of the vehicle in a low profile cage. But moving forward, we have this heavy duty, tall knuckle suspension. This thing really separates that load. So you separate these A arms out and you distribute that weight much better. You're gonna put much less stress on your ball joints. So on the front side of this thing, you have the signature LEDs and LED headlights. So moving forward from the way this thing looks, let's talk about the engine. So you're probably wondering what's powering the new Maverick car. This is the brand new Rotax 999T with a full 240 horsepower engine. This is the most powerful engine in the UTV industry. Matter of fact, this thing is coming off the showroom floor with more horsepower than my current race car. So obviously I'm gonna be excited about this. This is a totally new triple cylinder, one liter turbocharged engine. That means the Maverick R delivers the highest horsepower per liter in the industry. It's the same durability as the proven X3 engine, but this time with a lot more power. That engine is completely insane, but let's talk about the power adder here. We have a massive new 54 millimeter turbo that is directly attached to the engine block for less vibration. This is an integrated tubeless system, so you have better cooling and better oiling for the roughest conditions and pure peace of mind. The engine block has loads of kick-ass features as well. The all new aluminum crankcase, cylinder block, and cylinder held are held together with eight tension rods instead of individual bolts. This is, creates a much stiffer package with less distortion and better resistance to peak loads. Plasma coating on the cylinder means they hold up under heavy pressure within the cylinder. That coating also optimizes heat transfer while acting as a really robust and rigid layer that is designed to withstand the combustion load. Finally, it also reduces friction from high temp alloy forged pistons. And all that adds up to more reliability, more durability for the long haul. Another feature that some of you might recognize from high horsepower performance engines is the closed deck design of the cylinder block. It's much more rigid and allows the engine to cool better so you can push the limits and performance with no worries. Can-Am has introduced a new concept for advanced fuel injection for the engine on the Maverick R. There are now two fuel injectors per cylinder delivering better fuel accuracy and control for an engine that runs like a top from idle all the way to wide open throttle. And here's another industry first that the Maverick R delivers, an electronically actuated wastegate. Electronically controlled boost provides consistent performance in all conditions throughout the vehicle's lifetime. The hydraulics housing and dry sump are specifically designed to keep the engine lubricated and minimize friction no matter how tough or uneven the ground gets, which spells better engine efficiency. Now let's take a look at the new Rotax DCT transmission. This is a high performance, seven speed, dual clutch transmission, which is the first of its kind in a top high horsepower side-by-side -side category. Dual clutch transmission, or DCT, takes driving to the next level by delivering a much more responsive feel than a CVT. The rapid shifting also makes it way easier for the driver to accelerate into higher gears in a shorter amount of time. So this is how it works. As a gear is engaged in one set of clutches, the next gear is automatically pre-selected on the second clutch. As the clutch of the engaged gear opens, the clutch of the target gear simultaneously engages. Yeah, that's right. That's gear on gear torque. You're a gear on gear dork. 
the result is almost instantaneous gear selection. And that gives the Maverick R maximum wheel power, great response, and basically just sick performance. And with this transmission, gear shift happens in two tenths of a second with no torque interruption at the wheels. You've got total stability and control. The Rotax DCT features electronic shifting with integrated park, reverse, and shift on the fly high and low gears. So you can adapt it to your needs in a flash. No more stopping, just riding. You can also choose between automatic and manual shifting. Automatic shifting is a fine-tuned precision gear selection, giving you just the right engine power at all times. For even more control and instant power, just choose the manual shifting option. There's an on-the-fly paddle shifting system in the steering wheel that allows you to shift the gears at lightning speed, kind of what you would find on a supercar. When you choose an engine mode, the transmission uses intelligent shifting to adjust to the selected mode, so you know it's gonna be dialed in right into your riding style. A DCT also means no more belt temperatures to monitor, no more belt maintenance and no changes to worry about, and no dust, water, or other intruders from the outside elements can get in there. Except for oil changes, pretty much maintenance free. So with the new Maverick R, there are multiple engine modes, starting with normal mode. This mode is gonna offer a lower shift point around 4,500 RPM, a lower sound decimal, and smoother throttle response for just kind of cruising around. Uh, the next thing you'll have is a sport mode. This is a little bit more dynamic shifting all the way up to the 8,500 RPM red line. Then you have sport plus mode. This is gonna be the one I'm driving in. Cody's definitely more of a, a normal mode type of guy. It's gonna have the most aggressive throttle response. Uh, the shift points are higher, but the biggest thing is there's no delay between shifting. When you pull the paddle or you have it in automatic mode, it shifts instantaneously. However, the coolest feature is the new anti-lag system. With big turbos, you get big horsepower. However, when you step on the gas, it takes a little bit of time for that turbo to spool up and, and really get you up to power. With this new system, it shuts off one of the cylinders delays the ignition timing a little bit and opens the throttle body, which pumps air into the turbo. This gets the turbo spinning, and as soon as you step back in the gas, it's instantaneous power. With all this power, you might be worried about your engine overheating. Well, the cooling capacity of the new Maverick R is just an awesome feat of engineering. The cooling system has been designed to maintain peak performance and power, even in the most punishing conditions. With no impact on performance, up to a high ambient temperature of 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. And it does that with two high-performance radiators and one intercooler with dual fans for each. And they've also redesigned the airbox and added a bigger front grille to improve airflow. Okay, we gotta talk about this totally new, heavy-duty, tall-knuckle suspension. With the innovative design, can I really push the envelope? If you had any doubt about who was the king of suspension performance and handling, they've just put that to bed. To get there, they analyze three main aspects of the suspension design. Load distribution, improving the roll center height, and steering geometry. A key feature of the tall knuckle suspension is how it spreads apart the upper and lower suspension links. And that drastically increases the leverage the suspension has over the wheel. So the loads will be better distributed between the wheel and the frame. Now, when you're cornering, the front upper A-arm takes on a massive 85% less load than a similar vehicle with conventional suspension and the tie rod takes on 15% less. And in the rear, the upper suspension link sees 38% decrease in load and the 45% decrease in the tow link. The huge load reduction in the upper links raises the rolled center. This means less roll when cornering, keeping the wheels flatter against the ground. And that means ass-kicking performance in twisty terrain. Another benefit of the better load distribution is less wheel displacement caused by the flexion of the frame and the suspension components. This results in more stability and predictability since the wheels always point where you want them to. This configuration also results in 33% more torsional rigidity when compared to the X3 if you take into consideration the frame and suspension components. By placing the upper ball joint above the wheel, the tall knuckle front suspension gives more flexibility than a conventional suspension design to achieve the desired steering geometry. The goal of the new steering geometry was to provide effortless, predictable point and shoot steering while also reducing kickback and rough terrain. The end result is confident handling in any condition. And when you're talking performance, obviously tons of travel is the goal. And Can-Am nailed it with this big, bad, best in class, 25 inches in the front and 26 inches in the back. All of this with an imposing 77 inch wide stance and to top it all off, 
they built in the best in class ground clearance at 17 inches. It all adds up to a one of a kind design and engineering feat that reinforces Can-Am's title as the leader in vehicle dynamics. So the perfect suspension geometry doesn't do you a whole lot of good if you don't have the best shocks. On the Maverick R package, you're gonna find Fox QS3 2.5s on the front and rear. On the XRS package, you've got 2.5 in the front and three inch rear internal bypasses with high and low speed plus rebound adjustment. On the Smart Shocks, they took it to the next level. You've got the Gen 3 live valve system with electronic piston and base valves. The goal is always to have the most traction, the most comfort, and the best bottom out resistance in all the rough terrain. So each valve in this is independently controlled by the Can-Am Smart Shocks management system. This system is taking a calculation for the wheel speed and the wheel position every few hundredths of a second and automatically compensating for the best ride possible under any conditions. And if you drive like Hunter, you need all the help you can get. <laughs> Let's talk about the chassis. This is a full tube chassis made from dual phase steel. The cage remains the strongest in the industry and this time it is 15% more rigid. That means you've got less flex overall on the chassis. So when you're going around the corner, you've got a very positive feel. You're not feeling the, the flex of the chassis, which gives you the false impression that the vehicle is rolling more than it should be. Uh, the A-arms, suspension, trailing arms are all bolted with gigantic 14 mil bolts now. The A-arms also have double bonded bushings, which are completely silent. As, you know, as side-by-sides get older and time gets on them, things starts to wear, they get very squeaky. Uh, there's also no maintenance to keep up with. Can-Am also took a page out of the book of everything that we learned at King of the Hammers racing in the last couple of years, and the side of the chassis is actually V-shaped. This allows you to go through tight spots, you know, say you've got a rock on each side, it allows you to squeak through there without getting hung up. So you might be wondering what the new Maverick R is rolling on. In North America, it's sitting on either 30 or 32 inch ITP Tenacity XNR tires, and internationally, you'll find it on 32 inch XPS Track Force tires. The 30 inch tires are mounted on 15 inch aluminum wheels and the 32 inch tires are mounted on 16 inch aluminum beadlock wheels. Both wheels are flow formed to be durable and lightweight. Another statement of the robustness of the new Maverick R platform is the use of a six bolt hub on all packages. The same as what you would find on a pickup truck that weighs twice as much as the Maverick. They loaded this beast with the biggest brake system ever with triple piston calipers up front and dual in the back larger discs and stiffer components all around for a super crisp brake feel and unmatched stopping power. We have your harnesses on. I'll never take this off as long as you're in the driver's seat. <laughs> Makes sense, we're gonna actually go fast, I think. <laughs> Can-Am didn't just make this thing fast, they had to make it comfortable as well. They designed the ergonomics around the driver and passenger. You know, they didn't just throw us into a vehicle that they created. They started with the driver and passenger, made sure everything was exactly where it needed to be to make you comfortable. With a high performance machine, it's very important for the machine to feel like an extension of the driver himself. So that's something that Can-Am really pulled together here with the ErgoLock cockpit, four-way adjustable seat, super low seating position, and all the controls right here at your fingertips. And here's another exciting first for Can-Am Off-Road the first ever 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen display in a Can-Am vehicle. This high-res infotainment system puts an interactive, informative, and customizable experience right at your fingertips. It's easy to see, easy to navigate, easy to connect to, and it's all packaged in one premium design. From music to driving modes and more, there's so many features here that are going to change the whole riding experience. Can-Am made a separate video that gets into all the details. Make sure you check that one out. Now. All high-performance vehicles have one thing in common, technology. Since the new Maverick R pushes the limits of performance like nothing we've ever seen, Can-Am got smart with their technology by creating a whole new line of smart accessories. Can-Am smart accessories are the first of their kind in the industry. We could say this is where accessories and intelligence meet. Here's how it works. An accessory control module, or ACM, is positioned between the unit's computers and the accessories. The ACM reacts to the sensors in the vehicle, read the dynamics, and responds in real time, while also helping to steer the driver's attention to the appropriate area to maximize performance. For example, when you're running at full throttle, the smart integrated LED hood light and roof light gradually change from flood to spot as you increase your speed. 
So the faster you go, the more intense the light gets, so you can see a little bit further ahead. There are also smart integrated LED side mirror lights that follow the steering wheel input, increase in width with the beams, and illuminate your wheels for increased visibility. And when you head into a tight turn, the lights follow the turn to focus on the inside of the curve. Pretty awesome. Now, these smart accessories are all controlled by the 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen display or by the smart control center, which you can program to enhance your ride, all without ever taking your eyes off the trail, thanks to the quick access buttons. And beyond this amazing new technology are other accessories designed to help you get the most out of every ride. The new Maverick is all about pushing the limits and the audio system is no exception. Together with JL Audio, they developed three new premium audio systems that deliver the ultimate riding soundtrack and surround the driver and passenger with a premium audio experience. The integrated system is the same quality as the top automotive systems, and it even comes with a subwoofer. Once you get up to the most premium offering, you'll find two additional door speakers and a second subwoofer for an unprecedented level of audio integration in a side-by-side. -side. Available as a complete vehicle integration or as an audio roof, the JL Audio system brings performance to a whole new level. Now, Max Mike, now. <laughs> It was that close. <laughs> now, maximizing your cargo space is key in a high-performance vehicle like this. With the newly expanded Link ecosystem for Can-Am Off-Road, including a factory-installed Link mounting plate on the Maverick R, you can bring everything you need along for the ride. Here are just a couple of examples. You can use the stock-mounted Link anchors to slap on these super rugged, weatherproof 13.5-liter Link side cargo boxes, or maybe the 96-liter Link trunk box or install all of them, really maximize out your storage. The cargo bed on the new Maverick R is also compatible with both 16 inch and 36 inch link accessories. So there's almost no limit to the number of accessory combos you can put together for your ride. So it's no surprise that Hunter and I are putting our Can-Am machines at the top of the podium in world renowned races all over the place. This is certainly part of Can-Am building their reputation the hard way. Yeah, this isn't just the next step. You know, over the years, the competition's been inching just a little bit closer to us. <laughs> Not anymore. Can-Am is raising the bar, setting a new standard for what a high-performance UTV should be. For more information, go to your local Can-Am dealer or check out the Can-Am website. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out there. This Can-Am has... That wasn't even close to the line. Jeez, Louise.